In this video, you will learn how to make an organic compost which is ready to use in just 18 days. It is made from ingredients that are widely available. This composting method was developed by the University of California, Berkeley. It is a fast, efficient, hot composting technique which produces high-quality compost in a short time. Today, we will teach you how to prepare and use the compost and test the difference it makes on your crops. Some of our farmers have seen really life-changing increases in crop yields using the organic composts and microbial fertilizers we teach them to make. I'll be showing you how to make a simple compost that is rich in microbes and really good for your soil and plants. The great thing about this, it is ready in just 18 days. This is the equipment that we will need. We need a machete to chop our dry and green material. We need about 10 sticks, which is about one and a half meter tall. And we need a piece of string about a meter to two meters long. And for the ingredients for this compost, you will need green material. This could be leaves, uh, residue from your crops, it could be grasses, it could be vegetable cuttings, etc. Then you will need dry material. It's the same, but dry. So it could be some dry grass, some dry crop residue, etc. Then you will need cow dung and cow urine. One bucket of cow dung, one bucket of cow urine. If you don't have that, it's fine. You can still make this compost. Lastly, you will need lots of water because when you finish making the compost, you want to completely cover it in water so it's completely wet. First, we'll build a frame to hold the compost. We do this by measuring out a cross on the ground. about two steps in each direction. Then we make a circle with the sticks in the ground around that cross. Then we're ready to put the material into the frame. We're going to make a layered cake or sandwich we're going to alternate our brown material with our green material. And each layer is going to be about 20 centimeters thick. If we have cow dung and cow urine, as we make each layer, we can put some cow dung and cow urine over each layer. Once the pile is ready, we can put a whole lot of water in so it's completely wet. I've now completed two layers here. But take a look at how our participants in a LifeWorks training in Rwanda have completed their pile. Once the pile is completed, you have to build a roof to protect it from the rain. Once we've finished all the layers, we leave it as it is for five days. And then we begin the turning process. To turn the compost, you just need to remember this phrase, outside, inside, inside, outside. Let me explain that. You take the outside and the top of the pile and you put it separately out of your compost frame. Then you take what was in the middle, you also remove that and keep it outside the compost frame. Your compost frame is now empty. Then what was outside and on top you put in the middle and what was in the middle you're putting around and on top. And that's how you would turn. We do this on day 5, then every other day until day 17. On day 18 the compost is ready to use. If you have only a little compost, 
You can still use it on your whole crop by mixing it with water. You mix one or two handfuls in a bucket of water and stir with a stick. You can use the compost or the compost water five times during a season. First, you apply it when you are preparing the land. Next, you put a small ball of compost around the seed when you are planting or you use the compost water by pouring it after you have planted all your seeds. Third, you apply the compost water on the ground when you see the first plants coming up out of the ground. Fourth, when you see the first flowers. And the fifth time, when you see the first sign of the harvest, which would be the small fruits or vegetables. Today, we showed you how you can make an 18-day organic compost Take a look at our other videos to see how you can improve your crop yield with microbial fertilizers made from milk, fish, animal dung and molasses.